This is the Turns Pro Time Lapse Motor, and in today's video, I'm talking about what is it, why did I buy it, and what can you do with it? So back in March, I went to the photography show at the Birmingham NEC and loads of cool stuff there. One of the things I was really keen to try and find was an affordable solution for introducing some motion into my time-lapse videos. What I found is there's a huge amount of really high-end options like motion control units if you want to spend about a thousand pounds, but not so much at the more affordable sort of budget end of the spectrum. But towards the end of the day, I stumbled across Turns Pro and I had a chat with the guys there. They were really helpful. They showed me their product and I ended up buying one while I was there and I've been having a play with it over the last few months. So what is Turns Pro exactly? Turns Pro is an English company founded by three guys and they developed this product after they saw a need for it and they put it on Kickstarter and it was successfully funded on Kickstarter in 2015. Since then, they've been selling them worldwide and have had pretty good reviews. The Turns Pro motor itself is a very affordable and effective time-lapse motion device and what it allows you to do is you put your camera on top and it can give you 360 degree rotation and you can also control the speed at which the device moves once it's on there, the time it takes to do a rotation and you can also mount it sideways and actually do up and down tilts as well although there is a weight restriction on that which I will come to later. Other things about it, you can specify the number of degrees that you want the device to turn which is really helpful and the length of time that it will take to complete the motion that you've requested. You can configure it from anything from 20 seconds all the way up to 10 hours for one rotation so a really slow 360 degree pan. The device itself comes in this really handy cardboard tube and on the packaging itself it's got really clear and easy to follow directions for how to use the device and with only three buttons it doesn't take long to learn the controls at all and inside the packet you get the motion control unit itself. You also get this little adapter which allows you to easily mount a mobile phone onto the motor. The device itself has got a plastic body but a metal sort of structure within for all of the bits uh, that count. It's got a backlit LCD screen which is great for when you're using it at night. Three simple buttons to control the entire device and you can use this for horizontal time lapses with cameras that weigh a maximum of one kilogram which means my Canon 700D with the 10 to 22 wide angle lens is pretty much the maximum weight that it can handle. Also, if you want to turn it on its side and do tilts, then you need an additional sort of L bracket to mount your camera, um, but then the weight limit is much less. It's only 250 grams, which means if you're using a smartphone or a GoPro or any other small action camera, then it's perfect for you. But for me, unfortunately, I can't do that. And that is probably one of my minor gripes with the product actually. So now let's have a look at how you operate the Turns Pro slider. It's really simple. As I said before, it's got three main buttons. In the center, we've got a power button, which you hold down to turn it on. On the right hand side, we've got an enter button for confirming your chosen settings. And on the left hand side, we've got a plus button, which acts as a way to navigate through the settings. When you first turn it on, the turns option will be flashing. And if you use the plus button, you can change that to degrees. So what this means is you're either asking for a number of complete rotations, or you're asking for a set amount of degrees, anything from 50 degrees, all the way to 360 degrees. Once you've decided, uh, let's go for turns on this occasion, you click enter, it then moves on and it's gonna ask you what direction you would like the motion to take place. And it's flashing clockwise now, we can also go anti-clockwise, but for this, let's just go clockwise. So we click enter again, and now it's flashing for how many turns you would like. So we use the plus button and we can request one, two, 
however many turns you would like and that goes all the way up to 999 turns. If you leave it at zero, then it will also do continuous till you stop it, which is quite a nice feature. So let's go two turns right now and then we'll click enter and now it's asking you for how long you would like each rotation to take. So we can choose hours, minutes or seconds, anything up to 10 hours for the maximum, but I don't want hours right now. So I'm gonna click enter for zero hours and then I'm gonna click enter again for zero minutes. And then you see there, it automatically is giving me the quickest that it can do one rotation, which is 20 seconds. And that's it. If I click enter now, the device will start to turn. And on the screen, you can see that it's showing the direction it's turning and counting down until it finishes. Once the action has finished, it will go back to the beginning and is ready to configure for using again. So the weather's been pretty bad the last few days. I've been desperate to get out and take some nice time lapses to show you what this is capable of, but UK weather is never reliable. But I have managed to get a couple of quick motion time lapses to show you now. So take a look at these. <laughs> It just goes to show you don't need to spend a huge amount of money to start introducing some motion into your time-lapse videos. A couple of things about this device uh, that I really like and a couple of things that I'm not so uh, sure about. I really like the build quality of this device. However, one bit that does seem a little bit dodgy is the battery compartment on the back. So this takes four AA batteries for operation and yeah, just the back, the way the battery compartment holds on just feels, I don't know, just not amazing. I'm sure it's fine, but it just is not quite as nice as the rest of the device. So that's, you know, that's that. I really like how easy it is to configure the options on this and how easy it is to use. They've really simplified it down to the, the bare minimum for what you need, and that makes it very quick and easy to set up and use. Also, when I first got it, I was not sure how I felt about the fact that it uses standard AA batteries, but actually, the, the battery life is amazing on it. I, I don't think I've put any new batteries in it since I've had it. It says that you get 10 hours of continuous use from one set of batteries. And because AA batteries are so common, if I were out and about and, uh, and this run out, then I know I'm gonna be able to buy some batteries really easily from anywhere. So what I thought was not such a great feature has actually turned out to be something quite cool. And finally, my only real gripe with this product is the weight restriction seems a little bit low. As someone that's using a DSLR like myself, one kilogram is really right on the limit for what I'm able to use. And also, to do the vertical tilts, I mean 250 grams is the limit for that. Yeah, I can use a GoPro to do that, but I really prefer using my DSLR. I shoot it all in RAW. So bit of a shame that the motor can't keep up with that. So Turns Pro, if you're doing a version two, I wanna see a much higher weight limit on this device and that will make it absolutely solid gold. So that is the Turns Pro time-lapse motor. If you've been thinking about trying to get some motion into your time-lapse videos, then I would really consider this as quite an affordable option. It is about 70 pounds, 65 or 70 pounds for the motor itself, which compared to any other option you will find, I think is, is really quite affordable. Another thing actually, when I was at the photography show, I was talking to the Times Pro team and they commented that quite a few people who've bought the device have used it to actually motorize a video rail. I talked to them about how they do it 
and that's actually a project that I've been working on recently and we'll be sharing the results of that in a video with you all shortly. Uh, the idea being that if you rig this up to a slider you can then control the dolly motion of the slider using this motor and because the motor is configurable and you can set the time that you want it to take you can actually control the speed greatly on the rail so instead of just a rotational movement you can actually get a slow pan along the rail. A video coming soon about that. That's everything for today. The only thing left to say is if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel so that I know that you are liking what I'm doing. And other than that, I will see you next week.